Greetings, YouTube. Usually I play, uh, or at least intro, some kind of preview for a video. But you know, when you record a four to five minute video, you have the luxury of doing that. However, when this summoner, level 34, Mr. N-E-U-R, hit me up to say that he wanted to send about $14,000 worth of Greater Banquet Crystal data, I, quite frankly, didn't believe him. And then when he said it was a level 34 account, I really didn't believe him because I have covered... What a start, by the way, the six-star generic awakening gym. I have covered uh, several of you who got an email message saying that you had to be both level 40 and conqueror to be able to purchase these. And yet, this account didn't. You can see. Level 40, no, how about level 34? This is the ultimate example of a conqueror account of somebody that can get light years of resources, nice, nice six star awakening gym crystal too. Uh, light years worth of resources for uh, an account that normally is getting three and four star shards out of clearing content. There's our first champion took uh, $600 for a f five star Thanos to appear. I am struggling in my brain to put this in the context of money and there's this first six star nexus. There, there have got to be so many people who stare at this, including myself. Nice three six-star Awakening Gym Crystals? Did you get two in that badge? Uh, who struggle to look at this and just think, uh, can I have some of that? Be like the pigeon lady in the park from Home Alone 2 that just wants to stay at the plaza, but you're outside in the cold. So champions have been pretty uh, pathetic. This makes me feel pretty good about my six-star Kang signing for the first time. But I'm telling you, he would normally not get these rewards in any context. And now he's going to have... Like, imagine not having many six stars on an account, but having rank four six star materials to one day be able to take that champion to rank four. That's wild. All right, so we're $120 into a $1,379 opening. But I think by the time he uh, ends it, it's going to be about $1,400. Or, excuse me, $14,000. Once again, I I'm not used to commentating something with this high of dollar amount but to end 2022 it feels so appropriate to be able to do that and uh really i'm most fascinated by six star champion drop rates and there is our first six star champion sighting a bunch of five star kangs and a six star thanos wow this guy's gonna have as many thanos and kang and maybe by the end jessica jones as he does any of the regular champion five and six stars you can also notice that the uh Six star Nexus crystals are crazy low drop rate. There is our first featured six star crystal sighting. That's crazy considering I got two of those in a batch of 10. Look at all those tier six basic and tier three alpha though. That is my biggest takeaway from this. It's so funny to me that Conqueror counts, and still only one six star generic awakening gym, by the way, even though it was his first batch of 10. Conqueror counts are, uh, are normally just getting three and four stars. But this is like speeding up time for years worth of progression so the almighty wallet yes the almighty wallet is indeed um determining this and i i am just so freaking thankful that he chose my youtube channel to focus on this data bunch of six stones uh boy those tier four class cows you're never going to need tier four class catalyst at least not for a couple years after this there's a five-star uh, Weapon X. Still no Jessica Jones. $2,800. And there is a six-star Thanos, right? He reappeared. He got awakened. He is. He's immortal. So Thanos has been the six-star of choice for the RNG. Also, so many six-star Awakening gems by the end of this. I just, I, I sit back and I think, this is like getting... When I was growing up, uh, like a Toys R Us shopping spree on Nickelodeon, they used to play those. I would think, oh my gosh, can I please just do that one day? I, I never did. Toys R Us is not even here anymore. In physical form, I think they're trying to do something with the IP. But man, so some some takeaways from this. The Six Star Generic Awakening Gym. Some of you have sent me like, I opened two and ten crystals. Just look at this and feel how blessed you were to do that for the data. Because this is more than anything about data. And Thanos is just sponsoring this crystal opening form. It's like an oh snap. 
Now, somebody would ask me, Prof, do you think if he opens any other crystals, there's our first Jessica Jones tag, by the way. If he opens any other crystals, will he get top 30? My answer is absolutely not. No, he's opening about $14,000 worth. But last year, it was what, about $20,000, $25,000 was the minimum. And it's inflation. 2022 is the year of inflation, unfortunately. So I expect that number, if anything, to go up. I hope I'm wrong. I will not even be spending uh, $1,000 on these. I'll be spending about 500 which is still a crazy amount of money. And the fact that I'm even saying just 500 is irresponsible of me. Because for a lot of people out there, you can't afford 50 Like the greater banquet crystal offer was a crazy amount of money. And I totally get that. But the thing about having a YouTube channel where you commentate community openings is you can vicariously live through the true rich whales of society. And I assume near either is one or just has a maxed out credit card. Although a lot of credit cards don't even go to $14,000. So who knows? Uh, six star Nexus drop rates are very pathetic. Of course, well under 1%. The uh, Six Star Awakening Gym Crystal, he just got his eighth, has been better than average posted. I wonder if he's going to do a uh, Cav Nexus Crystal opening separately, or maybe it'll be at the end of this, who knows. Uh, because those are going to be fun. He got he has the same amount of Six Star Featured Crystals in 500 than I did in 10. You just RNG, you just never know. And oh, by the way, I wonder, this is where this, this uh, video is going to be kind of inconvenient. I wonder if he is going to have just... There's three generic Awakening Gems now. And 245,000 six stars. I wonder if he's going to have so many overflow items, especially Tier 5 Class Catalyst after this, because when you are a Conqueror, even if you pay for the Black Isis store, which you can tell he does not on this account, right? Um, just bonkers. You can, you can, your inventory is going to be overflowing. Tier 2, Tier 5 Basic... He's going to have to do just the biggest rank up in MCOC history to not lose a lot of this. Thankfully, Tier 4 Class Catalysts aren't uh, at a max inventory. And he's just going to keep forming Catalysts. Uh, but so rare to get even a 5-star champion, right? And no 6-star Jessica Jones yet. $6,100 in. There is our first 6-star Kang slash Wang signing. It only took $6,200. Fascinating. There's another five-star Thanos, and uh, Kang is still there. I really think, given how available six-star Nexus crystals have been with the Abyss Nexus crystals, that three champions per Nexus, especially when you consider that there are all six classes in there, should be easier to get than less than 1%. I don't know why Kabam still prices six-star Nexus like it's 2019, but they do, and there's nothing we can do about it. I also think you should get at least two Cav Nexus crystals for 10 bucks, as we see that for $5 on Sundays for Thronebreaker players. Um, up to 38 of those now. I think that 39. He's going to have, I'm sure, well over double digits worth of six star uh, Awakening Gym crystals by the end of this. We'll be curious when that reaches 10. I, there it is. I, I just have a hard time believing what I'm seeing is real. You know? There's 12. 12! Tier 6 basic, and plus some left over. 75 tier 5 basic. The tier 4 class cat, or a tier 5 class catalyst, excuse me, yeah. Um, that's kind of lagging behind. Crazy amount of ISO, 4 generics, 391,000 6 star shards now. And he's barely over halfway done. These 6 star featured crystal drop rates have been really bad for this, and that's... Another surprising amount of data. There is our first awakened six star Kang. Still no six star Jessica Jones, though. And still no six star Weapon X. Those are the uh, top prizes left. I'm telling you, he's got to wake up in a coma, though, where you just look at your inventory, five star Kang alert, and you think, what? We also have officially reached breaking the game status with six star, six stone crystals. Uh, Unless, maybe, maybe maybe not. Maybe he just has 390. He's got more 6-star, six 6-stone six crystals than Tier 4 Class Catalyst, which also feels kind of unbelievable. And as we reach uh, the 10-minute mark in the next 20 seconds of this video, it is just worth reminding you that even though this is an amazing amount of data, if you're staring at this and thinking, God, I can't compete with accounts like this, I can't spend any money, we have seen so many free-to-play accounts in this game. 
do very well. Skill is oftentimes the determining factor. And I've seen people who will beat rank four, six star opponents in battlegrounds with the right matchups and the right um, skills with five stars. So every year, I talk about this on the channel, but the newest, highest rank up that you can do a, a, a six star in this case, rank five, um, no, you don't, uh, you don't need rank five, six stars to do well. And if you want to rent a rank five, six star, and you've got a rank four, just put a, a you know, rainbow boost in, 30% greater champion boost, a 20%, you know, health boost, boost, 15% attack boost. There's five star Jessica Jones. Is she finally awakened after $9,100? Sure is. Sure is. There is five star Thanos. Almost $10,000 in, and he only has five six star Nexus. That also seems criminal. There's two more five stars. ISO's nice. Wow, almost max sig. <laughs> but you know, for so many people who aren't Conqueror, other than the ISO, those five stars are just going to be trophy champs. Five star Kang. So many catalysts for him. There's two six star Nexus, and now five. He's more 6-star Nexus than 6-star Featured Crystals. That just doesn't seem real. 16! Tier 6 Basic. 102 Tier 5 Basic. I don't actually think that's a visual glitch. I think that really is real. 13, I guess 14 technically? Tier 3 Alpha? How many 6-star Shards? On the road to a million. Look, 11 million scrap. 6 generic 6-star six Awakening Gems for a level 34 account. Is this a... Uh... Like Elon Musk's secret account. Could be. Now over $10,000 worth of data. Approaching $11,000. There's our 7th 6 star Nexus. I hope he opens a video with all the Nexus crystals too. Maybe it'll be at the end of this one. But there's only about 4 minutes left. So I doubt it. Uh, 5 star Weapon X. Twelve six star. There he is. It took ten thousand ninety dollars. No, ten thousand nine hundred dollars to get the six star weapon X. Still no six star Jessica Jones, but uh, we saw the sighting. Nintendo sixty four amount of Cavalier Nexus crystals. That's going to be a lot of ISO too. A lot of ISO. This is a Conqueror account, YouTube. I cannot say that enough. How he was able to purchase without... I, I just... Kabam really screwed up that up. To give some players the ability to have it be level 34 or uh, Conqueror. And then to tell some players, yeah, sorry, that was a mistake. That, that seems outrageous to me. But right now, I'm thankful for the data. I'm just concentrating on that. Only 169 crystals left, which would normally be a crazy opening to commentate. But uh, in this case, it's just the uh, scraps, literally, at the end of this one. There is a six-star awakening of Weapon X, 1,240 crystals in, or $12,400 in. Still no six-star Jessica Jones with enough money to purchase a really nice used car or a really small new car, depending on where you live. But with inflation, it's probably not even true now. Although 14000 I think, could get you like a maybe a new... Chevy Sonic? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, okay. Not double digits of six star Nexus. There, he's up to nine. So in the last 79, will he get to double digits of a six star Nexus? Put your predictions in the chat if you happen to watch this all the way through. I appreciate it. $14,000. Well, almost. Maybe he'll add on some at the end. All right, we are finally down to the last uh, takeaways of this data. Some of the most fascinating parts of this data, no six-star Jessica Jones, featured six-star crystals were not easy to get for him. He's going to have so many 
rank up materials. He's just going to have to start ranking up. He does have 191 million gold in this account, so I don't think he'll be lacking gold or ISO really. Uh, maybe tier four basic is what he's going to have to spend a lot of units on. That's probably my prediction. Tier four basic is going to be what he hurts, or maybe uh, maybe that's it. Only six featured six stars. That just seems like it's got to be false. 22! 22! Unbelievable. Tier 6 basic. Almost formed a 23rd. 138. Tier 5 basic. Tier 5 class catalysts. Not really that much. All things considered. 18 tier 3 alpha. And change. How many 6 star shards? Did he reach a million? 10 generic 6 star awakening gems. Uh, 15 million scrap. A really good amount of six stones, though, you know, given everything, I thought it'd actually be more. 735,000 six star shards, one million five star shards. Just unbelievable data. Thank you, Nearer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. For the data, I hope you do a video on the openings of this account. I would be honored to feature it. But until then, have a good one. Thanks for watching. What a commentary submission.